Kyle, you just pitched the game of your life, little buddy. Kyle, hey, that was an awesome performance. Hey, way to step it up. You really notch. did. That was a major notch you went up to. Hey, baby, you're going to Williamsport. Oh my God. You're going to the Little League World Series. Unbelievable. Give your mom five, come on. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Here, let me grab it. Let me have it. Can I have it? Well, hey, we'll just put it right here. How's that? I'll keep it in my house. I'm gonna keep it at your house, huh? Maybe we'll make it like the Stanley Cup. Shh, listen, hang it. Guys, guys, Could you listen. ever in your wildest imaginations come up with something like this where you're hitting a game-winning home run in the no. early sixth inning? No. Were you worried, pretty worried going into that inning? I mean, things didn't look yeah, too good I, for you Yeah, I was worried that, uh, that we had to score runs to stay alive. Keep our season alive. Going into the sixth inning, what was going through your head? I was just thinking... We're a better team, and we're at Tossin. We're going to Williamsport. And I was thinking, I'm going to get up, and I'm going to do whatever I can to get on base. And I got on base, and Tyler nice broke one to win the game. In the six, I was like thinking, if, if three next people don't get hits, that could be the last like inning of my Little League career. So that was right about that. Yeah. What did you think when you saw Tyler I was like... I couldn't even talk when he hit that. That was. That was, that was so, I don't know. That was just crazy. You go set your alarm clock now? We gotta go set the alarm clock. I gotta call into work and get some more time off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alright, buddy. Hey, thanks for all your help, guys. Congratulations. Thanks, Murph. Appreciate it. So, are you ever gonna go home and sleep in your room? I haven't been home in three weeks. Why go now? <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better ending for him than to hit that home run. I just wish that I could be in the pizza parlor at home where they were having the party and just see the people come off the wall. It was, it was the game winner. I'm always afraid to say that out loud because everybody contributes, but without that, we wouldn't be sitting here. So I, I'm truly thrilled for him and the team. It's just wonderful. I just worried about them because they're supposed to be going to school. Do you know how many thousands of kids play Little League Baseball and you guys are representing the Western region? No one's like ever gone to Little League Baseball. Really? Hey, what did I tell you in the letter that I sent you down here? What? Grow as a person, not just as a ball player. When you're in Williamsport, get out and meet some of these kids. I'm sure you, you did that here, right? You got to meet they, kids they and told you about where English. they live. And, You'd be surprised. I bet a number of them will speak fairly decent English. Because I know you know no foreign language, that's for sure. And so, after seven years of playing organized ball, the Aptos team finds itself at the nirvana of youth sports. So here we are, playing the sport in the dorm. Here's the coach's quarters. <laughs> yeah. Coaches gargling, coaches napping, coaches sleeping, coaches taking it easy. Coaches are exhausted. <laughs> coaches are tired. <laughs> We're in Williamsport, guys. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here. We'll see I'm Curtis. In my bed. Curtis is playing in his bed. I'm cleaning it. Oh, he's cleaning his bed. Yeah, there you go. And here's the clothes. Most of these is clean clothes, believe it or not. <laughs> these are the team man up there. Team man, you playing a little, uh, little Mario? Beautiful. Here we are playing the wiffle ball game. Cabs up. Curtis is on. Is that you over here? Oh, let's see your bruise, Drew. Let's, let's, we'll zero in on it. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that is foul. For the boys, living in a world without mothers is like an endless summer. For the coaches, it's just sort of endless. 
<laughs> but for all of them, things are certainly different. There are new uniforms and a new identity, the West. There are TV cameras that broadcast their every move to a national audience. And unlike Major League Baseball, it really is a World Series. Aptos has made it to the big show, and they're savoring every minute. Come, come here, hey boys, right here, come here, quick, 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 come here, hey, come on, Drew. Can everybody have fun tonight? Everybody bring One, two, three, one, go, hustle. Unfortunately, the good vibes don't carry over onto the field. Boy, get Their first game is a loss. But the next day, they rally. Get out of here! Get out of here! Andrew? 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 Yes! Yes! Aptos pulls itself back from the brink with a stunning 11-8 victory. It's just like old times. Oh, there she is! The mother of the Grand Slam! The Grand Slam King! Now look at this. Is that the ball? Get the ball. This would be, this would be the ball, and this would be where the bat hit the ball. Well, show the guys your bruise. You gotta show them your, your war wound. War wound. Or war wound. Uh, <laughs> Are you tired? You gotta be exhausted. Oh, exactly. <laughs> you gotta be totally exhausted. Mm -mm. No? Uh -uh. No. So far, this experience is right up there with uh, you know the, the two World Series with the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, if we were to get to a final game, which is a uh, straight up a hill, you know, there's some players, there's some teams here, tough teams. It would surpass playing in two World Series uh, championships in the major leagues. There's no question about it. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. You know, now we got a chance. We do. They're pumped up.